Hi guys, what up there? My name is Tim Mahoney and I'm with the Alive and Social Network. We have a live podcast we're doing here today. Um, I'm also going to be playing some songs in a twine. We're sponsored by Guinness Beer. So if you want a free Guinness Beer, all you got to do is check in uh, your Facebook or tweet out at Active Mahoney Music, and we're going to give you a free Guinness beer. That's all you got to do. And um, we're also going to do some stand up comedy. This girl right here wants to do some, right? Did you say that? You did, right? No, they said you were going to do that thing. Okay, cool. We should do that later. We also got my cousin and my stepmom. Janet back here, who's going to help us out with some things, but uh, I'm going to start off with a little song. Again, all you got to do is check in on Facebook, show it to your server, or tweet out at Act Tim Mahoney Music, get a free Guinness beer. Play a little song. I said no pictures, you told me that. But not from that angle, it's horrible. But like up high, like my face looks but I know I've been funny. <laughs> Her name is... Uh, Jackie Jackalus. Hi. Okay. Janet. I see you just a few years after me too. And we have an issue. I've been waiting to see you and I see love of time. Well, over the years she feels But the race is all on the side of two That's why you can't come out Oh, you want to play it out I see you just in that door you come out Oh, Oh, please, she comes. I can wait until I see the love is in you. Oh, please, she comes. But I reach the bones that I'll tell. Can I get another private conversation? You get to where you can come down. I say, who are you? Are you loved? Sing it. What's up, y'all? That's okay. I mean, my music kind of does that. That was perfect timing. I should have picture that. I been like, check out my songs. This is the reaction I get. I get yawns. That's okay. We just have a good time. Um, we're also gonna do some trivia a little bit here during this hour. We're gonna give away an order of chicken shots. The famous chicken shots. Um, you buy one, you get 33, and after a Twins game. As long as I can stay at your house that night, it's been pretty cool. This is another little song here for you. I think we got my new producer, Buddy. What's your name, brother? Wyatt. Wyatt? Wyatt. It's uh, a great descendant of Wyatt Earp. All right, you told me that. No? Okay. This is a song called Stem. Oh, 
appreciate it. Did you guys find it on the phone? So she's still looking? Are you looking it up or not really? Okay. Are you texting me? Cause no. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you want to get up and sing. It's an open forum. I could do Bon Jovi. We could do Journey. Or we could do ECDC. Something like that. Can you do them all? Okay. What do you want to hear, Janet? My favorite song. Well, we don't want to play Brooklyn. That's a new song, and that will really make people cry, which is not our goal here. We want to keep them here. We got it live at Kieran's Irish Pub, downtown in Minneapolis. Little overcast, but great day. Big weather, little wind, but just feels nice. Uh, we're running special on prime rib sandwiches. Uh, buy one and throw one at your friend, and uh, you can pay one free. Let me laugh at that. <laughs> you want to get up and sing? I don't. Okay. So I should stop talking. Maybe, yeah. Not the best. But... Okay. We get us through sometimes. What's this in right? All the reason I'm still in your arms tonight. Another little thing you do is matter. He starts with this in me. All the reason I'm standing around. Waiting for that special tomorrow. I don't need to know what's been It's a little bit more about you The taste of your sweet words How do we need to just get through I want to know about you We get lost in the love to this world 
I have a great opportunity. I, I'm actually going to be singing if any older people out here. I'm going to be actually the lead singer for a band called Boston. You remember the band Boston? So um, two of the original members, um, I ended up meeting at a songwriting conference. It's a long story, but uh, we're doing a charity thing and an outdoor festival, and I'm going to be uh, taking Brad Delp's place. Because Brad Delp uh, tragically killed himself about six years ago. And I'm going to be the lead singer for Boston for two shows. It's pretty cool. Uh, we had to drop the key about a half because it's really high singing. But I'm going to play you a little sample of a boss. Is it a Boston song or is it a solo record? Tell me the name of the song and the name of the artist. Listen up right here, okay? Listen up. Here. <laughs> Everybody got it? Sounds like Boston, all right? So I'll give you the hint. It actually was not a Boston song. This was a very good role. Solo album, but Brad Delt sang. So it sounded just like Boston. You can Google it. That's fine. But what's the name of the song? Okay, you win. So you guys win an appetizer of chicken shots. How about that? There you go. Let's give it up for him. She was the fastest person with the phone. Um, pretty much at this point, we need a trivia. You can pretty much see it, it doesn't matter. So, it really comes down to who has the fastest phone. Who, what phone do we believe is the fastest? The Galaxy 5, the iPhone 6. Or in her case, she's got the flip phone Nokia. It's pretty sweet. She T9 texts people. She's like, Hi, what are you doing? See you later. Remember that stuff? You'd be like, I like you. This is another city chicks. I think you're pretty. Maybe we can go. And then it would stop. <laughs> and then they're like, why don't you just call me? I'm like, oh, that's too hard to do, right? T9 takes forever. <laughs> it's rather trivial. Let's do another very quick Boston, the band, trivia. Um, Tell me the name of this song. We got a sus winner right back there. More than a feeling, right? Okay, we're going to get you a... Uh, Free drink of your choice. You don't even have to get a Guinness. So you can drink uh, straight vodka. You can also drink uh, a martini, but that's kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can also get a shot of Jameson. Whatever you want, we'll get for you. No problem. Let's give a hand for that. I want to tell you guys how weird it's gonna be to be on stage with Boston and not be in like some sort of cover band as a lead singer. It's gonna freak me out a little bit. 
and uh, to be a fan of the band and actually singing for them is going to be a trip. So um, another one of our favorite songs, of course, is this one. Interesting point, Brad Dump's voice, I mean, I, they consider me a high tenor voice, his voice was much higher than mine. Uh, most people that cover it either drop the key or have a female singer. <laughs> so it's uh, kind of an interesting thing, but uh, also interesting how they made those records in the 70s because they sound so good, they didn't have auto-tune, a lot of the technology we have now, and they made these records that sound amazing with pitch and everything. No autocorrect, nothing. Uh, just listen to them sometimes in headphones and know that there was nothing, no computers. This was all right to analog tape. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. So. Kansas? You want it, Kansas, or you want to sing it? Gotta keep going. What, what do I got? Um, What's the Kansas song here that just like everybody loves? Especially, yeah, I got you. I got you. Check this out. Just for the guy you asked for, you always get it here at the beingmahoney.com podcast. And it is right here. This is the song you want, and I know. There you go, come on. That's what you wanted? You want to sing it? Here we go, come on. I feel like when I play the jamming songs, you lay one of that in my songs. And that's cool. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys are coming. Even though you didn't come for me, but uh, come back next week. I appreciate it. This is a little song by a band called Crowded House. I got a chance to play with this band a couple times. Also, man, Neil Finn, a great singer-songwriter. This is a song called Something So Strong. Oh, 
心分析老师。啊，不好，拉这个什么？我在，我在 ，Yes, I am. I am I now. Yes, thank you. I stick by my word, even though Guinness doesn't even really pay for that. But guess what? That's what matters to me. Chicken shots. So some fun, maybe some. You must do something like all I ever do. I give up to be out. Is it true, sir? Wondering why they don't put you in. Maybe someday, oh no, oh you gotta be so soon. Someday, girl, oh you gotta have a bigger beat. Oh yeah, someday, girl, we will realize we've got it. Maybe not say it. Everybody's looking for something. Oh, someone's looking for me. I don't wanna be alone. This is clear to go. Say whatever you want to be. Maybe someone alone. Oh, you got a piece of stone. Someday, girl. Oh, you better we could be coming in the afternoon. We realize we can go. Say you want me to go. Thank you so much. By the way, my name is Tim Mahoney. I'm a local musician. Um, we have a podcast called BeingMahoney.com uh, that we do once a week. Live here from Kieran, so you can check it out on iTunes or beingmahoney.com. All you gotta do is tweet out, check it on Facebook, get a free Guinness. We can give away 50 Guinnesses today, 50 beers to one person. All you gotta do is show your server that you checked in and you get yourself a free Guinness. Wanna well, thank Guinness as sponsor, and also Kieran's Irish Pub and Kara Pubs and the, the whole group of them for helping us out. It's a brand new song that I wrote. And when I was writing it, I pre completely tried to rip off John Mayer. I figured, well, he's a big hit, so why not give it a shot? Baby, let me know. I want to hear things from your soul. Look in my eyes and give me some. Show my brothers and sisters. Say, say, does it mean I'm all I feel? This love is happening. Hey, hey, hey. What a girl for a teach me. What a feel in the room of your hand. Can I hear me say? So 
something and get it right away. It's no problem on that. Thank you guys for coming out. Stop by Kieran's again. Tomorrow we have the Janet Show. Stand up all day on all night. We're going to do a little bit more trivia here. This one gets kind of fun because we're going to do movie song trivia. This is how you do it. So you play a song and you have to tell me what movie did this song come from? You don't even need to tell me the name of the artist. Just the name of the movie. So, we're going to start with this one. Check it out. What do you win? I'm not sure what I win. Do you have any gift cards in there at all? We don't have gift cards anymore. Do you? So it's just me. That's right. I guess we're going to give away an appetizer again for this trivia. We're going to charge that to the Being Mahoney uh, Trump Fund, which it is. Um, so listen up here, listen up to the song, let's see if we can get the movie. I can see you thinking, I, I see that right there, you're thinking behind it. You gotta wait till it kicks in, although you might know it now, I'm not sure. Right here, the movie is Armageddon. A lot of stars in that movie. One of my favorite, Ben Affleck. We're gonna get you an appetizer that you guys want, whatever you like. I will give you literally a hundred dollars cash of my own money if somebody can tell me who wrote this song. You can't do that. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> What's that? Steven Tyler, good guess, uh, not Steven Tyler. I'll probably just, huh? Okay, pretty close. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a tough one. I'll, I'll just give it to you so you have it next time to tell some money. The truth is, that song originally was written for Celine Dion, um, and that song was written by a girl named Diane Warren. She's the number one female gross singing songwriter in the business, and she has written all kinds of hits from pink to anything. Just Google Diane Warren and you'll see all the songs that she has written. And uh, gave that song to Steven Tyler and I read that at first he thought it was a little too cheesy. And of course he's happy now because he was a number one hit to the movie is a hit and we're all, we're all happy. I'm full of useful information. I'm full of random useful information today. Oh, you're I lived them. Did you say I lived them? Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. By the way, I want to thank the Kieran staff. They're all best friends with me. Uh, we pretty much text daily. And we have a big party on Sundays at my house. I supply the booze because they like to drink Jameson. And they bring it, so that helps a lot. Except last week, I think I may have wrestled with one of them. And somebody, I don't know if they might like, come back. <laughs> This is a song that I did, it was on a city sampler, um, volume 10 and 10, it was a while back. This is a song called Talk To Me. Say be the one, next to you in the world, 
Oh, it sounds Yes, my name's song The great things All to make you crazy You just keep A sense of your company Oh, it is I've got a voice All I really need is I'm seeing you All I really need is all I really need is for you, yeah. It comes out to me, yeah. So you don't have to be free. You don't seek me. All I see the things that I want to face. All right by your side. You want to face. All that for you, all I really need is All I really need is Come see me strong All I really need is All I really need is For you, yeah Talk to me, yeah. It's a song called Talk to Me. Uh, available for free, I'm sure, somewhere on the internet. Because this is all music free pretty much now. Or you could buy it in iTunes. I think you could do it. This is my interpretation of the. Uh, uh, Artist named James Morrison, not to be confused with Jim Morrison, James Morrison, um, a song called You Make It Real. That's all right, we'll get that out. You make it real off me. I'm not sad of my pain. I'm not so Oh, that was meant to be. Oh, you got up. You're rushing over me. You make it real off me. Well, it's you, you baby. Oh, that's why I'm the other season. Oh, you are the only way. You make it real. Make it up over me. I'm all set up. My power. I've lost my own. Oh, that was meant to be. Only what I. What's your own? Oh, you make it up over me. Yeah. Say I made it real over me. Yeah. 
We're going to take the fuzzy thing off the mic to get really real with people. We want to get in touch with them. Again, we're live at Kieran's Pub. This is a Bean Mahoney podcast. Uh, just check in on Facebook or retweet or tweet out at Tim Mahoney Music or live on social and get a free Guinness beer, a 37 ounce gallon beer. It's the most beer you could possibly drink while you're sitting there. I want to put a shout out to my friend Sean Bernard who's not here today. It's his son's birthday and I'm sure he's knocking it out of the park, literally. How to do the sound of the baseball. That was a crap. This is a song called Kid Lion. You can laugh and you can smile, or you just hit the wall of the line. Something to get so good about you. So you don't have to waste your life So you listen and be right Everything around you And when you think I'm pleasing I'll be in the world I say Oh, oh, oh You don't have to be right back Oh, oh, oh You don't have to be right back Oh, oh, oh all the lids come out in your heart You can have it, you can say it, but you listen to me What about who you are inside? It's only to know cats, right? You said it would be better All about who you are But you don't have to lose it Thank you. 
Saying the Lord, I feel hard. What's up, my boy? How you doing? What's your name? Lady? Alright. This is a song I wrote for a lady. You wanna hear it? Check this out. This is for a song on a lady on the street. Her name's Lady. Check this out, it goes. I feel like it's gotta it's gotta have some it's gotta have some kick to it, right? You don't need to call me baby. Cause you know what you know, I know you. Oh yeah, come on. You don't need to call me baby. She wrote it, I know it. Hey, lady, won't you come with me? Tell me how you're gonna be. You're gonna sing it all night long. Oh, you know, come on, let's lay it on. She'll be here every week except the next two weeks. I don't care if we can do it. I'll show you back sometime. Let's see what else we got on the back of here today. We're going to play a little. Play a little snippet of some of my favorite comedy. I've been listening to a lot lately of Mitch Hedberg. Anybody know Mitch Hedberg out there? You like Mitch Hedberg? Now, tragically, of course, he died in 2005. But. A lot of, lot of funny stuff. Um, I steal stuff from him constantly, but I thought to give him some props, we would actually play a clip from him today. <laughs> You gotta love that. What else we got? We've got the, uh, this is another one that I love. I got a uh, regular land and try to put it in a bad land. I got me over a bad land. You gotta love it. Good old stuff there. I also have a friend of mine named Nick Swartz, and he's a famous comedian now, he's from Minneapolis. And once in a while I'll text him and ask him what he's up to. And uh, I'll just, to name drop, I'll say, where are you with right now? And I'll say, oh shit, me, Sander, Spade, Rock, we're just hanging out in LA. And then I realize, like, wow, he's not more famous than I am. So I gotta keep working up these songs. So I'm gonna play one. Yes. Tell Tim we have two. Okay, I love it. I just found out we've got a couple of giveaways. Uh, I'm just to you. So we're going to do another uh, movie trivia on you here. But we're going to make it a little tougher for you on this one. So remember, I'm going to play a clip of the song. You're going to try to guess what movie this came from. And we're going to make it... I feel like cross generations, so it doesn't just hit the older young people. Uh, looking at the best option here. I think it's going to be this one. Let's see if we can get this one. Okay, I'm going to play a few notes. Listen up. This is for a great prize in this one. Listen up. I'm looking for the name of the artist and the name of the song. Anybody here? Oh, wait to the chorus. Anybody got that one? Yeah, you just... I mean, you gotta give me a break here. Genesis has got it. We're not going to give you that one, but just tell me what it is. And who's the artist? The, the, the artist is Gwyneth Paltrow, the actress from a movie called 
country strong. She actually has a pretty strong voice. Okay, we're gonna give another chance with an appetizer on this one. Um, we're gonna go pretty tough on this one. Okay, I'm gonna go here. This is pretty pretty obscure. I feel like nobody's really going to get that one. Anybody in the back? No? Okay. That's okay. It's Brian Adams' Never Let You Go from the movie called The Guardian. The problem was the movie didn't do very well, so no one knows it. I need to do only hit movies, I realize. Uh, it makes it a little tougher, by the way, because I kind of like movies. Now, we did this one last week, but I don't think any of the same people are here, so... Actually, there was nobody here last time, so... I pretty much just drank myself and ate the appetizers. Here's a tough one. This is going to be for a little older people. This is from the 80s. Listen up. I'm looking for... All I'm looking for is the movie on this one. Please don't Google it. I'm going to let it get to the chorus, because that can help some people. Think 80s. Okay, it's coming up. The chorus gets really good. Wait till the chorus comes. I know it kind of comes on, right? There's a pre-chorus first. Well, you know what? Awesome. Sing the chorus, listen. Three, seven, eight. Anybody out there? Close? Any money? What do we got? Anything? Just throw out some ladies. You might get it. What do you got? Sea Animals Fire. No, but an awesome movie. Love it. Kind of same realm. What do you got? No. Close. Somebody. Right there, we got ourselves a winner. It is. How did you, how did you get that? The movie is Fletch. And who didn't get that? You didn't know the movie Fletch? Everybody knows the movie Fletch, right? Put it on the Underhill tabs. Remember at the end of the movie, he goes, by the way, I charged a whole vacation on Underhill's credit card. You want the number? So since you already want, want an appetizer, we're going to give you a size small Karen's t-shirt that you have to wear right now. And then we'll take a picture. And it'll be fun. No, we'll get you some. We'll get, we'll get you a drink if you want. Yep. Get him a drink or something. Yeah, let's just use old, I feel like giving apps and then rather than just the cards and things anymore. They don't want to get food anymore. Good stuff. Let's do one more um, movie trivia. Let's try to make it easier because you guys suck. I'm not going to lie to you. You laugh about it. How about this? Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, man, this is good. This is tough. Here's another very tough one, but it's kind of a chick movie. So I feel like there's some chicks back there. What's it up to this one? That was in a big movie. Now we know the song was on the radio. Anybody got it? What do we got? You know the movie? More time. Close. Oh, that's the name of the band. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't get that right. We're asking you for what's the movie, the main movie that song is featured in. What do you got? The artist is Need to Breathe. The song is called More Time. But the main movie that song was featured in before it was like a hit single. Was the movie? It was a love story. Shocker. Okay. Um, 
How about this? The how about this? The the guy and the girl, the husband or the boyfriend dies at the beginning. It got, dies at the beginning of the movie. How does that work? That's backwards Hollywood thinking. There we go. Now we got ourselves a winner. The movie is P.S. I Love You. Remember he dies at the beginning and she keeps getting notes for how to live her life. You get a free appetizer right there. Yeah? Free, free plain white bread. It's really nice. They put butter on top and they braise it and then the chef kind of does this thing. No. If you want a drink too, if you want a drink, that's better. That's fine. Okay? Get that. How about this? Throw me an era of a movie trivia and I'll give you one more. Give me an era. Don't do 40s or 50s because that's going to be tough. Here, I'll do a 40s one. That's Glenn Miller. I'm just kidding. What era? Give me 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. <laughs> 2000s. Are we going to really say that at some point? Man, way back in the 2000s, I was totally hitting the ladies then. Then I got old. <laughs> okay, let's do one more here. On the trivia wheel. Uh, movie soundtrack kids, here we go. Here we go, okay. This is gonna go back to another 80s movie. So listen up close. Listen up close. This is an 80s movie that has a lot of quotes that anybody uses in the current day. What do you got? Mannequin No, but that's an awesome movie. I'm picking that up tonight. Mannequin No. No. What do you got? Seeing this fire? No! You really don't know this? I'm going to have to give you a quote, aren't I? I'm going to have to give you a quote. I'll give you a quote and I'll try to do a obscure quote. I'll go, you know, God, he actually just keeps going. You just looking up 80s movies and go down the list. Check this out. Here, I'll give you a quote from the movie. Let me think of a good quote. Um, what's a good quote from it? I'm going to do a random one. How about this one? How uh, cold do you think it is outside? I don't know. Zero? Okay, no. Let's try another quote. How about this? Those aren't pillows. There we go, right there. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Great movie, John Candy, Steve Martin. Tell me another quote. What's another funny quote from the movie? Huh? Surely quotes, right? Uh, what else? Um, what's another good quote he does in there? I'm trying to think of all of them. Remember he sells the earrings that are just basically, uh, what are they? Shower curtains. He goes, this is a giant sword, look, right here. There you go, there you go, so. You guys want a nap finally in the back, so. Uh, huh, yes. Make sure you tweet out though, say something. Say Mahoney socks or the show rocks, or my producer. What's your first name again? Wyatt. Wyatt is the sweetest guy ever. What time do we need to be done? About six minutes. Come on, come on. Again, my name is Tim Audio. We're doing a Cures Club Big Mahoney podcast. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to do a little song here for you. So I was on a TV show called The Voice. I was on Adam Levine's team. And Adam was pretty cool to me, and he said I sounded like a girl. You guys can decide that yourself. Uh, but I did write a song to Adam after the show, and I'll tell you what he said about it. This is a song I wrote called Hey Adam Levine, that currently right now it's huge in Russia. Come, oh, I'm so serious. I've been up. I've been down, I've been going out this music town. Somehow I'm here to stay. 
Going out, how to live like a hundred times before. California, they can hear me sing. The words of the main happy, how this would be down. Then your chair turn around. Hit me up. Hey, I'm a lead. I don't sound like a group. And the cigar singing in my world. Trying to make some of me. Hey, I'm a lead. If I was a chick, I guess what? I had a. Sito said I was a neat. Hey, I'm a lead. We went up and we sang. Talk about the classic things And you call my name I got punks, I got scared And now they will say it's so you Hold on to what you need You went for numbers, news I dig I've been sitting at home Waiting for your call Still like a dog, the sky's in my world. Trying to make some of me. I don't know me. If I was a chick, it would be totally sick. And you would sing a song about me. Hey, I'm a Come on now. So I wrote that pretty much just be funny to NBC and Adam. Um, Adam did not take that song as a joke, and that's okay, because he told me the song was kind of creepy, and um, that's okay. NBC also did not get behind the song, because I feel that Adam probably said, let's, let's not get involved with that, but uh, I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> So it's not going to be in a moment. Think about the world I had. Even as I had you. Hold me and you. Something tears me up and say. I'm crucified. I'm true. To say goodbye, sing a whole life. Now I see you. I need you for more than one. I be all my soul. Now I need you for more than one. The TV I'm overdue. I'm was like a ghost town. Such a bad time. Hold on, look at you. It's hard to see your name. But slowly I'll be realized. The more I see you, the more I want you. This is a ballad for you guys. Come on. Thank you so much. We got one more song for you left here on this uh, little podcast set. We well, thank you for coming. Being Mahoney, check it out, beingmahoney.com. Uh, go to the Twitter, uh, at Tim Mahoney Music. If you want a free Guinness before we're done, check in if you have not, or tweet out. Uh, Kieran's Irish Club thanks. Thanks, Guinness, for getting us what we're wasted. We're going to be wasted all night, all night, all night. That's all I got now. Thank 
Again, my name is Tim Mahoney. Be at Mahoney.com. Check it out. Get online. I'm going to end here with a little one last trivia for you guys. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Hmm. Okay. There it is. Yep. Um, let's see. Who can give me... This is going to be an easy one, but I'm going to give it to somebody because it's easy. Um, okay, let's see this one. Tell me the name of this artist. It's going to get you a free any drink of choice. Listen up. There we go. Okay. Now here's the bonus round. Ready? Get two drinks. If you can tell me the name of the artist that originally wrote this song. Oh. What do you got? Yep, you got that, but we, we got that already. Thank you. That's awesome. You know, I realize no one's going to get this. <laughs> Are you not doing sign language? I love that. It's awesome. I actually did play this song. This was. Um, United Way's theme song, so I played it for a big convention. But the name of the songwriters are guys that have been around for a long time. They're named Lone and Navarro. And have you ever heard of them? They're in two of the Midwest. They're kind of like a Belize type duo. Check them out. They wrote that song for themselves, and then Pat Bataher made it a huge hit, so there you go. Uh, we'll, we'll get you guys another drink there for you. So thank you guys again. I appreciate hanging out. My name is Tim Modi. Come back. Next, we actually do this show on Tuesdays, but if you text me, I'll pretty much just come to your house and sleep. So uh, just get my digits. It's uh, six times, seven, 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 se